And hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. I am your host, Nicky Name is Kane, and we are back in Raccoon City Police Department with our friend Claire Redfield. We are continuing on the story. Uh, if you didn't realize it in the last episode, I said, why not? We might as well. No fountain, something's written here to obtain the key to open your hearts. I'll wait for the unicorn, the beautiful beast. But we don't have that. Um... In Leon's playthrough, we had to... It's electronically locked. Where am I supposed to go? Up. In Leon's playthrough, though, um, we had to get that from using the two gems, the red gems, in the... What was it? The busts? There were two busts that we're over this way and upstairs, I think. I remember, I don't remember exactly where. But we're gonna run back this way and, uh, put some stuff in this chest, because apparently we can't get through the... We can't get through those two doors just yet. So we're gonna put some of this away. Put this up first. Um, knife. I'm not gonna need the knife. Grenade launcher. Um... I'm going to put that there. I'm probably going to regret that because I'm thinking about liquors because there are liquors in this damn game. I'm trying to think, though. Where was... Okay, let's look at the map. Because this hallway is where the liquors are. And if you run around to the... to the top, there's that room, and that's the room that has the two busts in it. There's liquors in that room. Now, I don't want to deal with the liquors in the room. <laughs> I really don't want to deal with the liquors. Um, oh, shit. They're gonna make me make a hard decision here because I don't. I don't even know if you get the shotgun with Claire. I, I really don't remember if you do or not. Uh, I am starting to realize that most of the stuff that I thought was in Leon's playthrough is actually in Claire's playthrough. A lot of a lot of different things that you do are in Claire's playthrough. Alright, here's liquors. Where's oh shit, are you kidding me? Alright, there's one. You've got to be shitting me. That's all my grenades. <laughs> it takes that... <laughs> fucking hell. And I can't get through there anyways because of the freaking helicopter and I don't have the thing. But at least I don't have to worry about going through those liquors again. Oh my goodness. That was bullshit though, man. You're seriously telling me that it takes that many freaking grenades to kill a liquor. That was three grenades. That was probably the biggest waste. I I, I swear, I if I wasn't recording it, I mean honestly, I I would just I'd reset the game. You know, if I was on my own, I'd just reset the game. Cause fuck it, that's oh that sucks. Well, let's run over to this other room here and see where this is. Cause I think that what they're doing is they're trying to funnel me down into the uh, into the office. Oh shit. Yeah, you bastard. There's another one. And there are... I think there's two doors on this one. Oh, he's dead. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck. Ah, shit. Damn it. 
Um, okay, they're both dead. <laughs> Man, I went through a lot of friggin'. I went through a lot of friggin' bullets. Unicorn metal. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take the unicorn metal. Shit. That's. Is that new? Was that there before? It's electronically locked. Well, son of a bitch, I think I probably went through a good. I was gonna say, I went through a good 30 rounds, and I know I had 60 rounds. They gave me a lot of bullets. Especially the stuff I picked up after I ran all the way through trying to get the Brad to get the uh, special costume and then find out that you can't do that on the uh, on the B scenario. You have to do that on the A scenario. That sucks. Where am I going? Oh, I am an idiot. Right here. Yep, 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 yep. As that. And then use. And then this comes forward. And then bip. Now I have a key. What key is this? Precinct key, okay. What doors does it open? Because all these are electronically locked. Let's go over to this one and see what's in this one. Or see if this one even opens. They're funneling me down, I have to go through the office. Son of a bitch. Alright, well at least I know where my path is now. <laughs> Shit. Apparently, I have to go up. Yes, I have to go up. And I have to go around. Son of a... I... I... Uh, and this is another one of those things where it's like... If... If they really wanted to make both scenarios... Similar to each other, you know? Like, if, if Leon really did... Do something in the one scenario that went over to yours... You know, I mean, they could have... I, there were so many ways that I thought about this game that I said, you know, if they would have just done this this way, it would have been different. Like, if there was a timer, like some kind of timer in the background, that no matter what, if you would have... If you would have played through the first time, then the second scenario, the, you know, the scenario B would have been locked to, to that time signature. You know, like if it took you an hour to get into the police station and, you know, open up a certain door, uh, if you got into Scenario B and if you went to that exact moment, you would see the other character walk through, open that door, and then go. You know. I, I don't know if it was possible with the technology that we had back then. Um, I know the PlayStation could do a lot, but I, mean, I figure... I don't know, you know? What's, oh, God. Right there. It's a valve handle. Yes, I will take the valve handle. Holy crap! That was just sitting right there like it was nothing. Alright, is there anything in here besides this asshole that's gonna grab my leg? Oh, did you see that sunbitch look up at me? What a bastard. <laughs> he totally did. He, I walked right past and he kind of turned his head like he was going to do something. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> for fuck's sakes. Oh, man. Oh, now I'm double fucked here, aren't I? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I got skills. What was this? Ink ribbon. Okay. I don't think that was there on Leon's playthrough. Oh, shit. Get off me. Get off me, motherfucker. I pulled his damn arm off. <laughs> what the hell was that? <sighs> There's something on the front of the desk, but I can't get to it. And I got all these assholes coming in here now. I guess I can just open fire. Just start killing them. Oh, God. Where's the other ones? Yeah, you get back up. Okay, you're dead. Damn it. Oh, shit. Nope. 
shit. Get back behind the desk. <laughs> I'll just... I will seriously... I will just shoot him from here. Fuck it. I don't care. Come on. Come on, you bastards. Oh, God, I shot that dude's arm off. What the hell's going on here, man? I, that never happened in Leon's scenario. What the hell? All right, what is this? Handgun bullets. Yes, because, man, I have burned through all my bullets. This is this is going pretty much exactly how the other playthrough went. A numerical keypad. Oh, man, what was it? Two, two, three, six. Unbelievable that I could remember that. Acid rounds, sure, I'll take the acid rounds. What's this? Police station map, yes. Is there anything else? Seriously, it is unbelievable that I could remember what the damn combination of that thing was. Dude, that was awesome. I must I must have a, a higher... That's got to be what it is. Because that is a... Uh, what is this? It's a Browning HP. Manufactured by FN Belgium. 9mm... And I think Leon's is a it's a lesser style of gun, so I can see that her gun is a little bit more power powerful than Leon's is. So where can I? I have the water water valve, water valve. That's what I'm trying to do. Water valve. Unbelievable. All right, let's get through here. End up. End up. And we have to go back through the crows, unfortunately. I think we have to go back through the crows and back around. Okay, run. Oh shit, they're right on my ass. Oh shit, no. Oh. <sighs> Alright. Now then, turn this shit off, or turn this shit on, I don't know, I, either way, I'm talking about the fire, turn the fire off, that's what I'm doing, I am turning the fire off. But yeah, it's like if you got to, if you got to this point in the one scenario, if the timer said that you had only gotten to this point like three hours, Within three hours, then you would have to wait for three hours until Leon finally got the... I mean, could you imagine that, though, where you would wind up having to just follow him around everywhere, you know, and do things? There's more Ast rounds. Helicopter's complete wreck. Yeah. Is that it? Is that all I get? So what else was down here? Downstairs is the, um... No, 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 no. Down that ladder, or down those steps, goes back down to the courtyard, and there was nothing in the courtyard, because I, I went back and got all that stuff, so I am good. Now what's this? Oh, shit! Whoa. Oh shit, is that the nemesis? No. He's not supposed to be in this game, is he? Oh, fuck me. Was he called nemesis in this? What was he called? I don't think he was called nemesis. Oh shit. Apparently, I'm not going out that way anymore. Fuck. Oh. My God. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where am I going? Am I going down? I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I need to stop panicking. There's nowhere else for me to go. Unless I go into that room. That's the only way I can go is that room. Fuck. Shit, shit, shit. 
panicking, I'm panicking. I'm telling you what, this is what Resident Evil 3 is going to look like. Uh, whenever they drop ne Nemesis on me and he starts bashing through the fucking doors, is is, is exactly what it's going to look like. It's going to be me panicking at every little freaking thing. Door's broken, I can't go any further. There's no choice but to take out the wall. What the fuck was that? Can't go any further but to take out the wall. So I, apparently I need something to uh, blow out the wall. Is that what I need? Oh god. <laughs> I just... I just... I don't know. Did you audibly hear me swallow? Because, <laughs> I mean, seriously. I am so like... Oh my god, right now. Woman's Relief, there's a hole that says a fist. Well, that's the... But we don't get the gems, do we? Oh man, what's this? Blue key card, yes. I am run out of room. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Is there nothing else in... Oh, shit! Run! Don't, no, don't. Okay. This is gonna be like... This is gonna be like Miracle Dodge. You ready? Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. This is not good. This playthrough has already turned into a shit show. Run, Claire. <sighs> was the guy's... What was his name? It wasn't Nemesis. It was, um... Oh, fuck. X. Mr. X. Mr. X. That's right. Oh, shit. <sighs> I am. I'm panicking. I'm getting a little panicky. Fuck, I forgot that. I forgot that was a thing, man. Um, okay, key card. Now that I have the key card, I can go down to the, uh, to the computer. Uh, I am. I'm a little twitchy. I'm not, I'm, I'm not joking. Fuck, I forgot about that. But he doesn't, he doesn't bust through the walls. I don't think. I don't think he does. I know he follows you. Every now and then he will appear in a hallway, if I remember right. And eventually you do need to fight him. But I, he, it's not like the nemesis where he's, where he will break down the door that you just ran through to get to you. All right, all set. Doors locked. There's a key card. Will you use blue key card? Yes, I will. Checking up ID card. Click, click. Then library. Click. All right. Wow. Okay, <laughs> now that that's done, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> fuck me, oh, fuck me, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just in shock, oh shit, there's assholes in here now, fuck Claire scenario, man, this is bullshit. This thing isn't supposed to be any easier. Who the hell said that crap? Police memorandum. Uh, this letter is just to inform everybody about the recent movement of equipment. Have we already read this one? Safe with the four-digit lock, which I already knew because we already did it. Okay, so we already have that. There's another one right there. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be in this room. Is he dead? He's bleeding. Yeah. Okay. It's an office over by the reception desk, but there wasn't anything in there, so... <sighs> Damn it. Of course, I was watching uh, somebody else play through Claire's scenario. Yes, I'll use a lockpick. And uh, what they were doing was they were keeping the knife with them, and then every time they would, uh, every time they would kill a zombie, they would go up and they would, or they would when they would knock a zombie down, they would go up and and, and uh, hack the zombie up. So are there gonna be liquors in here? I'm sweating this a little bit, guys. 
I'm sweating this just a little bit. Now see, this is, head is missing, seems to have been twisted off. This is after Leon came through here because those blinds are down. Wow, I was, that was easy. She's one use and done. But it's after he puts those blinds down. So that's like the end of his game. Copy machine. What's this? Patrol report. Sergeant Neil Carson and a suspicious individual skulking around the sewers. We already read all this, too. Uh, if you didn't know where that was, I, uh, I say go to the... Um, Go to the first part, where we played through as Leon. What is that? And, uh, check up on that. And you will get all the answers you could want. I should have slowed down for you just in case you did want to pause it and take a look at it. But, sorry. So what's this? The lighter? Yes, I will take the lighter. Which is, it's different than, uh... Leon's, of course, because Leon carried the lighter with him. Is there nothing else in here? Visual materials. Materials that are visualated. <laughs> or something like that. What we got here? 20... Okay. I think if I keep going through here, then I might be able to get to the point to where I can... I can stop. Green herb. Unless I want to go back down the other way, because this goes all the way through, and I think they're zombies. Stay away from the windows. Oh, for fuck's sakes! <laughs> the, fuck, the fucking zombies! Damn it! <laughs> fuck! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! Which is interesting, because there's no zombies in here. Ah, oh, God. Okay, right here. Oh, fucking zombies, man. Fucking fuck, man. Fuck. You know, it's crazy, too. Um, of course, it's October. So that's usually whenever, you know, uh, Walking Dead pops back up. And we have not... We actually have not watched it. Because we... Uh, See, I can't get into this because I don't have the special key. It's, that's because they won't let me have the... They wouldn't let me uh, kill Brad. Which pisses me off. But uh, we... We got rid of Cable. And uh, so everything we do now is through... Through, you know, like Hulu and Netflix and all that. But we do have Amazon. And we, we have the opportunity to be able to buy the season of The Walking Dead to be able to watch it. But we haven't done it. Now, why does it look like you can read that? Operation Report 2. Have we read this? Operation Report, September 28th. Early morning, 2.30 a.m. Zombies overran the operation room and another battle broke out. We lost four more people, including David. We're down to four people, including myself. We failed to secure the weapons cache and hope for our survival continues to diminish. We won't last much longer. We agreed upon a plan to escape through the sewer. There's a path leading. I think we did read this. The only drawback is there are no guarantee the sewer supposed to play is free of any possible dangers. We know our chances in sewers are slim, but anything is better than simply waiting here to die. In order to buy it, we locked the only door leading to the underground, which is located in the eastern office. We left the key behind, said having intelligence. To, yes, we. I think we read this. If we didn't read it, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure we read that already. But anyways, as far as The Walking Dead... Um, we haven't even watched it. I, you know, it's like uh, the one of the one of the reasons that uh, we even got the cable in the first place because we didn't have cable for a long time. But one of the reasons we got cable in the first place was that I said that we have to watch The Walking Dead, <laughs> and then we turned it off, and I was like, we're not even watching The Walking Dead because we don't have cable anymore. Uh, but I'll tell you what, it's very freeing. It's very freeing. I cut my cable bill in half by getting rid of just television. It's a beautiful thing. It was it was amazing, and I'm just going to... Here's my soapbox, just, just for a couple minutes. It was amazing when we had cable. 
I was paying twice as much as I am now in order to have the internet and the TV, plus Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, you know, whatever else, other thing that we had. And I think it was a grand total, like 150, 160 bucks. It was a lot of fucking money. I can tell you that right now. So I got rid of the TV. I told him, hey, just give me, just leave us with the internet we got because we got a really great internet connection. I said, just leave us with the internet we got. Dump, dump the TV. I don't want the TV anymore. Of course, they tried to say, well, you know, if you get the package, you can get. I said, no, 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 no. I don't want that. I want the TV gone. I want my internet. That's it. That's all I want. And I had to call back a couple different times, talk to a couple different people before they finally got it through their head that all I want is my internet. So they they did that. And I didn't even pay a bill this month because I had a credit because my bill got cut in half and I paid a full bill price at the beginning of the month. So I got like a free month comped <laughs> because because we've cut our bill in half. It's a beautiful thing. Drop the cable, people. That's all I got to say. Drop the cable. Drop the cable. Not only that, but I mean, we're paying half price for that plus Hulu and yada, yada, yada. I mean, I, I saved us like I saved us like 50 bucks in the end. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It absolutely is. Anyways, I'm off my soapbox. Uh, uh, in a roundabout way, it's basically me saying that you don't need cable anymore because it's way too much money for a bunch of shitty-ass channels that you're never going to watch. All we ever watched was AMC and MeTV. You get MeTV for free with an antenna. Everything else you can get on Hulu or through Amazon Prime if you're just willing to pay 25 bucks for a season. That's it. Just saying. Thank you guys for coming around watching, checking this out. I've been Nicodemus Kane. This has been Resident Evil 2. Uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. And until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Happy Halloween. And seriously, cut the cord. Cut the cord. They need to learn. They, they, they need to learn. Cut the cord. Check out the uh, PlayStation View. Uh, it, it seems interesting, but I don't know. Uh, it's It seems interesting. Uh, we tried it for about a week. It was eh. <laughs> but there are other TV options out there. Later, people.